Hello everyone, my name is Aki Mohammed Khan and I'll be talking about our paper Real-Time Bangla License Plate Recognition System for Low-Resource Video-Based Applications. Let us first introduce the task. Automatic license plate recognition systems aim to detect, localize and recognize license plate characters from vehicles appearing in images or video frames. Now, for Bangladesh's perspective, there are currently no publicly available datasets for training such systems. So our main focus is to build a comprehensive image and video data set which we can later use to train our system on. Furthermore, we aim to provide a system that can detect accurately, detect and accu recognize accurately and reliably in low resource environments without any requirement of GPU. Now here is an example of an ALPR system for video feed. So for input we will have video frames and from there the ALPR system will crop out the license plate and finally give us a string as an output. Now why do we need such a system? So for Bangladesh's perspective there are a large volume of vehicles in the metropolitan areas of Bangladesh. So it is difficult to find a vacant parking slot due to the lack of optimized parking systems. So all of this condenses to our problem statement. Given a video feed of cars and motorcycles and other vehicles having Bangla license plates, can we teach the machine to identify and recognize license plates? Now, to solve such a problem, we face some research challenges. The first one include being that training object detection models are computationally expensive. Secondly, there are no benchmark datasets available for Bangla license plate videos and separating temporarily distinct instances of vehicles from video is a challenge. Finally, running an object detection model in CPU in real time requires some optimization techniques. Now let's talk about some related works that inspired us to create our own system. First, I'll talk about the Cascade classifier that is a classifier trained using positive and negative examples of images. So this consists of multiple stages where each stage is an ensemble of weak classifiers. These weak classifiers are used to discard negative examples as fast as possible so that we can detect all the positive instances to achieve low false positive rates. Secondly, I'll talk about the MobileNet SSD V2 architecture which is a single shot object detection model based on the MobileNet V2 architecture. This is very lightweight and can be applied with limited computational resources which is our goal. It also includes feature pyramid network which improves the detection accuracy of the model. Now I'll talk about an ALPR system that includes a two stage detection method with temporal redundancy. So for detection they do it in two stages one is vehicle detection and then other uh, and later they do the license plate detection. And Secondly, they employed a temporal redundancy uh, feature where all the temporal redundancy information are ca collected through the union of all frames belonging to the same vehicle. Then they do, do a majority vote and then they finally get the license plate uh, characters. Next, I will talk about uh, the comparisons between different object detection models such as YOLO, faster RCN and SSD. So uh, from the graph, we can clearly see that SSD provides an optimal solution when both accuracy and speed need to be accounted for. Now I'll talk about the datasets that we have constructed. So we have constructed two datasets. Uh, the first one being the license plate image dataset, which includes 1000 images were that were taken at different di distances, angles and lighting conditions around Dhaka city captured using various models of smartphones. These images were converted to 800 into 800 pixels and we also manually annotated them by drawing bounding boxes around the license plate regions for training our detection models. Here are some examples for the license plate image dataset where we have also shown the annotation. Now, we've, uh, now let's talk about the license plate video dataset. So for that we collected 79 video clips containing 98 license plates from different types of vehicles and we collected it using crowdsourcing. Each of these clips include single or multiple vehicles from around different districts of Bangladesh. We converted all of the videos to a resolution of 480 into 480 pixels and each video contains an average of 254 frames and the frame rate of each video was 24 frames per second. These videos were taken in a variety of locations such as inside garages, car parks, lanes and highways. 
And since these videos were taken from several dis different districts, there is a good distribution of the authorized characters in our dataset. These videos also include plate variations, artifacts, occlusions, elimination changes, and even unclear characters. Hello everyone, my name is Alifa Trapi. Let's get into our proposed method where at first we have our four stage pipeline. In the first stage, we train the cascade classifier using positive and negative samples. The positive samples are the one that contain the license plate frames and the uh, negative frames are, uh, do not contain any license plates. Uh, the cascade classifier when it's trained can detect uh, whether a frame contains a license plate or not. Uh, in the second stage we uh, train a mobile net SSD v2 using the license plate image data set along with their corresponding bounding boxes uh, after which the mobile net SSD can actually predict the bounding boxes for uh, license plates. Uh, in stage 3 uh, we use both our trained models at first, we pass a video footage onto the train cascade classifier, which uh, can uh, detect whether uh, a certain frame contains any license plate. And if it does, it passes those frames into the mobile net SSD TV2, which uh, then uh, crops out the regions that contain the license plates. So uh, we only store the three best instances for each license plate instance uh, using the confidence score and the three highest confidence valued uh, instances are sent to the uh, vision api for the OCR predictions so this is the overall pipeline for our real-time interaction uh, at first the video footage is sent as a request to the flask backend uh, which sends the video to the cascade classifier and if the ca cascade classifier finds any license plates in any of the frames it then passes the frames to the mobile net ssd v2 uh, which crops out the bounding boxes around the license plates and then sends only the best three frames uh, of each license plate to uh, the next module. So here uh, the uh, technique also uh, takes into account the multiple uh, uh, similar frames for each license plate because uh, many subsequent frames will contain the same license plate. So we only take the highest three best uh, confident frames and also we can separate out two separate vehicles using temporal frame separation so whenever there's an interval of one second we know that one vehicle has passed and the other has appeared so for each vehicle we only store the three best license plates and we send only those three frames to the vision api for the ocr prediction which can then be stored or deleted uh, afterwards now for the experimental analysis we use map for uh, the evaluation metric of training uh, the MAP score is calculating the mean average precision of all the classes or overall intersection over union thresholds. For the evaluation of the character recognition, we use the Levenstein distance, which is actually the uh, difference between two strings based on the number of uh, operations such as insertion, deletion, or substitution that need to be performed on a target string in order to convert it to a reference string. Uh, in the experimental setup, <coughs> we can see that the mobile net ssd v2 was trained on a tesla t4 gpu on google colab and on the table we can see the hyperparameters uh, for testing and running the inferences we uh, ran all the experiments uh, on a single thread of an intel core i5 7200u mobile cpu with 8 gigabytes of ram and each of the videos were uh, a resolution of 418 to 480 pixels uh, here we can see the training results for the mobile net ssd v2 and we can see the average precision for different IOU thresholds. Uh, in the ablation study, we can see that the Yolo V3 Tiny model at first uh, gave us a, a decent uh, detection rate, but the frame uh, per second was very low, so the inference speed need to be uh, improved. So we used a cascade classifier as a filter uh, to filter out the frames that only uh, contained uh, the license plates. Uh, to be sent to the yellow v3 and this actually improved our uh, fps or inference speed uh, a lot but uh, still our detection rate and f1 score was not satisfactory so we used a different uh, backbone uh, mobile net ssd v2 uh, which actually got us a detection rate of 98 percent but the fps was still not satisfactory so we again used the cascade classifier as a filter on top of the ssd v2 uh, that again got us a, a real-time uh, inference speed and this also gave us a decent f1 score of 60.8 and a decent uh, detection rate of 82.7 so uh, here we can see the uh, entire pipeline in a, a single example where the user can upload any video and when the video is sent to the backend 
it shows the real time <laughs> footage to the user along with the license plate bounding boxes uh, as as a visual output to the user and from here they can visit the plate gallery to view the three best instances to either save or delete uh, or store afterwards we can see that the standalone ssd v2 has a very high detection rate so it has some very good results and it can detect some plates very successfully but uh, the problem is that standalone ssd v2 actually tends to detect uh, farther frames that are uh, actually very far away with very high confidence and when we uh, crop these instances out they are not very favorable for the vision api so even if the detection rate is high we can see that the uh, uh, OCR score is not very satisfactory. So when we add a cascade classifier on top of the SSD v2, this actually uh, gives us a very refined filtering and it only takes into account the frames that are very close to the camera and also uh, that are very uh, favorable for the vision API. And as a result, even though the detection rate is low, we still get a very uh, good uh, F1 score uh, for the OCR. So uh, in conclusion, we provide two Bangla license plate uh, one is an image dataset and one is a video dataset. We also propose a robust system that can detect license plates from uh, video footage in low resource environments. Uh, it also consists of a method that can individually store temporarily separate instances of different vehicles appearing in the same video. And as a future work, uh, we want to deploy our system in various real life environments. And we also want to uh, uh, build our own license plate Bangla OCR system that can improve the uh, recognition performance. And these are the references uh, from the slides and that will be all from us. Uh, thank you very much for your time.